So in this one, um, again, they're not asking us to multiply. All right, they're asking us to solve. So the one thing we notice is we have an expression times another expression. So we have an expression times another expression. We need to solve for x. So since they're multiplied, to, they're, since their product is equal to 0, I can set them both equal to 0. Does everybody see what I did? Yes? Now you just solve using inverse properties. Add 5, add 5. 7x equals 5. Divide by 7, divide by 7. x equals 5 sevenths. Here, I'll add 3, add 3. 2x equals a positive 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 3 halves. Write it as a solution set. I'm done. You like those squiggles? No. It's taking me a lot of years. Actually, what I like the best is look at that x. I think that x is really cool. It's like one slant, like one hard slant, and then it's like a nice little curve. I think that's a good, I think that's a good x. But that's seriously, that's a good x.